Hello everyone and welcome to Tekken Force, which is the beat-em-up mode of Tekken 3. It is the first game in the series to have a beat-em-up mode, but 4 and 5 also had one, though calling 5 simply a mode is a, is a bit of an understatement. So even though the controls for Tekken Force are the same as they are in the main game, the design principles are entirely different. Juggling your opponent is an important part of Tekken, the, uh, the main gameplay anyway. But in Tekken Force, you want to use your most powerful attacks right away and knock your enemies on the ground ASAP. This is because, of course, we are facing multiple enemies and trying to juggle a single enemy will result in the other enemies ganging up and punching you in the ass. In addition, most of the normal enemies only take a single hit from your strong attacks in the first place. So juggling them is really just a waste of your time. However, the enemies benefit greatly from juggling you, and because all the juggle mechanics are still in place, even if you don't need them, the enemies won't hesitate to use them on you. So predictably, the boss characters in this mode are just the normal characters you would face off against if you were playing uh, arcade mode. They seem to be a lot dumber for Tekken Force mode though, which works for me. Because I haven't played Tekken Force Serious since Tekken Tag Tournament 2 came out. So there isn't an astounding amount of enemy variety in Tekken Force, but that's okay because the game is very short. Something that does happen between levels, though, is that each of the enemies gets more aggressive. The enemies take slight pauses before they attack you, presumably to make the game tolerable. Those pauses get shorter and shorter as the game goes on, and it never becomes unfair. But all it takes is you getting knocked over once, and then there goes your whole life bar. The reason we're using Jin's roundhouse kick so much is because there is very little pause before he can use it again. So it's ideal for taking out a couple enemies in quick succession. He's a really good uh, character in general to play as in this mode. Because his kick is powerful and it activates quickly. But he also has very fast jabs for when the character is too close to use your kick. A single 3-punch combo, or that roundhouse kick we keep using, will destroy every enemy in one hit until the very end of the game, assuming it makes full contact and not partial contact. Also there's chicken just sitting on the ground for us to heal ourselves with, and that announcer saying chicken has become something of an, uh, an infamous oddity in regards to Tekken. The soundbite returned in Tekken 4, but I don't think it ever came back after that. In Tekken 4, the chicken that the characters drop is also living, instead of dead and already pre-cooked. You just pick it up and it heals you as it is. Say hello to Nina. Nina's very good at the whole kicking thing. The characters in, uh, in Tekken Force mode seem to be exceptionally weak to charging attacks. They never seem to block them, so I like to use them wherever possible. Welcome to Darkness. Where is Darkness? I have no clue, you figure it out. All of the enemies for like the first half of the stage just come at us right from the front, and they always line up in such a fashion that it's very easy to take them out with our kick, which is a big mistake for them, as you're seeing. It's a little bit odd that the third stage seems easier than the second one, in spite of the enemies here being way more aggressive. Oh, he ducked under my kick. Truly, we are dealing with the big times. And here are those enemies I mentioned that, go that don't go down in one hit from our kick. They go down in two hits from our kick though, which, you know, that that's not a big deal either. The game moves so fast that they can't afford to have any enemies with huge health bars. You saw even the boss characters go down in just a few seconds. If I'm making this mode look easy, I would like to take this opportunity to point out that it is not. Even if you're really good at Tekken, like incredibly well practiced, this mode is so different in spite of using the same controls. For the most part, you have to approach it like it's its own separate game, even though it's much shorter. And well, it's clearly a diff just a different mode. 
but the design is so different that it necessitates that you act completely differently while playing it. Tekken 4 goes even farther as uh, far as making the beat em up mode feel different from the main gameplay is concerned, and then Tekken 5 just takes a complete departure. And instead of Tekken Force, there's an entire other game called Devil Within that's about four hours long. Spoilers, I die here. But after about two and a half hours of practice on this mode, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with how this run turned out regardless. There is one more enemy type here that we haven't gotten to see yet, but you will before I die. They're the hardest enemy type in the game, they have the biggest health bar, but the same strategy applies to them as it has to everyone else. Oh yeah, I've been mentioning how Tekken 4 and 5 take bigger steps away. Oh, here's the new enemy type. I've been mentioning how Tekken 4 and 5 take bigger steps away from the main game in regards to the beat-em-up mode. But Tekken 6 took the beat-em-up gameplay so seriously that it added an entire 6 plus hour campaign mode. It's like, incredibly fleshed out. And that's the mode that finally, completely seamlessly combined the beat-em-up elements with the traditional Tekken elements. At least I think so. Nobody knows whether Tekken 7 is going to include a scenario, campaign, or Tekken Force mode, but given how uh, seriously they've taken the Tekken Force modes in the past, I wouldn't doubt it. Alright, that's that. Chicken.